they never get it all out. And it ends up where it's like stiff like that. Like you can't really yes. see how this applies will all the way. So this trick right here, oops, save you over the years hundreds of dollars. Well that's what we did with them when we were then, painting. Yeah. Put them in baby oil and put them back. Two years ago, right? Two years ago, mm -hmm. and they were just as soft. Yeah, sure. You gotta and you gotta put a lot on there. And then when you start to paint again, and uh, it's wonderful for you. Don't make this mistake, okay? Someone did this. Don't forget to take what? the oil out. Okay? Yeah, right <laughs> someone out. started painting. Someone did do that. And so their paint wouldn't dry in this one spot, but would fix it. But so whenever I take a brush out of my drawer, I'm gonna use it again. And I, I always put them in here first. And also, when I'm not when I'm not painting, oh, right? Yes. My brushes, see, they're always in the liquid. Because that's another thing. This is something else that they'll tell you not to do. Every book will say never do this. Right? I always do. I leave my feet in there because air can't touch them. And I only do that because I paint every other day. You know? If I was gonna not, if I was gonna say, okay, I'm not gonna use this brush for a long time, then I'll put it back in here. But I'm using them, then I always leave them in, in the in the liquid, and that way air can't touch them. Yeah, right? I try them out. And the reason I can do this is because we're using quality brushes. Now, if you have a cheap brush, then the liquid cracks this. I kind of stuff with a cheap brush. Yeah. Now, these brushes, I mean, I wear them out before. Yeah, before they dry them. Yeah, because they're just quality brushes. And then the difference between a cheap brush and, a, and the best brush, like not even a cheap brush, like that Lane Nickel brush, I bought here in Alpanto for 50 pesos. That's $4, right? $4.50. So the same 